then we're off. Right. Okay, so we're going to start with swivel hips. So if you prompt yourselves on your mats or on the floor, whatever you're on, uh, hands behind your back, feet slightly wide in the shoulder width apart, and then just drop your knees. Oh, my back just cracked already. Drop your knees down to one side and then over to the other side. And you just want to get those knees as low down to the floor as you can. So if you're really flexible, you should be able to keep both hips down, but I don't know anyone that can do that. So just get those knees as low as possible. Don't worry if the uh, hips come up. And then if you just spin around, so you're going to go into 10 table rocks. So it's fingers facing away. Make sure you've got your hands right underneath your shoulders when you're lifting up, feet uh, be underneath your knees or ankles underneath your knees. You're going to roll up, lift up into that table position at the top, look up at the ceiling, and then lower down to the floor. If you're getting any pain in your elbows, just move your hands out to the side a little bit. But you should feel it. If you squeeze your glutes in on the way up, you should get it across the top of your hips, so on your quads a little bit. But you should feel it more down the front of your shoulders, all the way down your biceps. Like I say, if you're getting anything in, in to your elbow joint, just go a little bit wider with your hands. Definitely feeling the past couple of days training. If we do one more. Okay, you want to pop yourself up. And then you're just going to do 10 uh, air squats, so 10 bodyweight squats. So feet roughly shoulder width apart again. Nice and low on the squat. And then once you've done 10, I'll do this kneeling down, but you can do it stood up. Uh, you want to grab your cat bar. You're going to do 10 halos. So you hold the cat bar upside down. Rotate it round the back of the head so it disappears behind your head. And then rotate it in front. You're going to do 10, but we're going to go through the whole thing twice. So if you just do 10 in one direction, and then the next time through, just go the opposite way. Everything's cracking today, my elbow's clicking. And then once you've done your 10, if you just go back into those swivel hips again, let me back on your butt. Again, okay, if you roughly count to 10, it doesn't really matter how many you do with these. And then once you've done roughly about 10 of those, go back into your 10 uh, table rocks again. It's going roughly shoulder width apart with your hands. If you need to go wider, go wider. So your belly button into your rib cage. Lift the hips up as high as you can. Get that stretch on the front of your arm from your shoulder. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Get that stretch on the hips. And then once you've done your 10, go back into your 10, uh, 10 squats, 10 air squats. And then once you've done your 10 squats, 10 halos, just go the opposite direction to what you did on the first one. I can't remember which way I went. Uh, let's go that way. So again, just keep the cap on nice and close to your head. Just don't whack yourself with it. And 
turn. Ooh, I'm going to have to open this window. It's far too hot. Okay, right, so again, I'll go through all the exercises. Basically, you've got five exercises, a couple of them, um, two of them I'm going to give you alternate exercises. So if you struggle on them or if you're just getting generally just tired, just switch the exercises around. Uh, you've got five rounds. So you've got five exercises, five rounds. First round, you're going to do 10 reps of everything. It's pretty straightforward. Second round, you're going to do 20 reps of everything. Third round, you're going to do 30 reps of everything. So that'd be the horrible round. Fourth round, you're going to go back to 20. And the last round, you go back to 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 20, 10 on all the exercises. Your first exercise, I don't think we've done this one before. Not that I can remember. Um, the other ones have, you've done quite a bit of, they're fairly straightforward. So your first exercise, you basically do figure eights. So for the figure eights, I'll do the first one nice and slow, and then I'll show you at the full speed. So with your kettlebell, you want to hold on to the corner of one hand up because you're going to pass it between your legs. So if you're holding on to the middle or the wrong corner, you'll end up stumbling with your hands and dropping it. So if you hold on to the one corner of the hand up, you want to squat down. Like I said, I'll do this one slow. Squat down, pass it around the back of the leg, swap hands, and then as you stand up, you want to kind of bicep curl the weight, catch it up on your chest, pass it around the back of the opposite leg, and then stand it up. So it's a figure eight around the back, and then you stand it up. So the quicker you drive the hips up and you stand up out the squat, the less you end up bicep curling it. So it's all in the hips. Okay, so if you're in the right hand, it'll go around the back of the left leg. As you stand up, keep it in your left hand, but just catch it with your right. And when it's in your left hand, it'll go around the back of the right leg. Same thing. So it's right hand around the back of the left leg, left hand around the back of the right leg. Okay? <clears throat> Guarantee you'll all get that confused at some point. Uh, so you basically got 10 of those to start off with. So for the 10, every time you get the weight up at your chest, count that as one rep. So it's around the back of the leg, bicep curl up, kind of squat it upwards, catch it at your chest, that'd be one. Around the back of the other leg, catch it up, that'd be two. After you've done 10 of those, you're then going to do 10 goblet squats. So don't really mind how you hold on to the cowbell. If you want to hold it that way around, or you can hold it. That way, I'll tend to hold it that way around. As long as you keep it up at your chest, so I don't really mind. Uh, feet roughly about shoulder width apart. Keep your elbows drilled in. Squat nice and low. And then stand it up. Just make sure if you're getting as low as this, get your elbows on the inside of your knees. And then stand it up. Okay? <laughs> if you struggle on goblet squats, uh, especially as you get towards kind of the 30 reps, if you need to, you can turn it into air squats. So you can just basically drop the weight and just do bodyweight squats. Your third exercise is two-handed swings. So we have fairly straightforward on the swings. We've done plenty of these. Feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Knees stay still, hinge at the hips. Grab the kettlebell with two hands, flip back to the legs, and then just extend the legs as quickly as you can. And then just relax your upper body and shoulders up. Okay, so again, you've done loads of those. So you've got 10 figure eights, 10 goblet squats, or air squats, 10 swings. Your next one, you're gonna do 10 push-ups. Bear in mind, if you're gonna do the push-ups, you're gonna end up with 30 reps of push-ups. So if you really struggle with push-ups, if you need to, you can do them on your knees. Or if you wanna do something with the kettlebell instead, if you lie flat on your back, hold onto the kettlebell by the ball, Keep your lower back down, and then you can just turn it into a chest press instead, okay? <laughs> but like I said, if you, if you can do push-ups to a certain degree, if you want to do them on your knees, just do them all on your knees. First round, you should be all right on your knees, and then for the 20 and the 30 reps, if you want to turn it into a chest press to make it a little bit easier, you can do. Uh, your last exercise, said the best for last, and uh, you've got to do thrusters. So your thrusters, basically, you've done loads of these. A squat with the overhead press thrown on. So you want to hold on to the kettlebell, a little bit like what you did for your goblet squats, if you're holding it this way. So you, you're not going to be able to see me overhead press this, but you want to squat down as you're standing up, shoot that kettlebell up overhead, 
and then bring it back down. So you're kind of catching the weight at the bottom. And it's just one fluid exercise. And there's no pause between the squat and the press. <clears throat> They're going to be the worst ones, especially after the push ups. So you've got figure eights. So you can do 10 figure eights, 10 squats, 10 two handed swings, 10 push ups or chest press, and then 10 thrusters. That'll be your first round. After your thrusters, you then go back into the figure eights, but you do 20 reps, and then it'll be 20 of everything. And after you've done 20 thrusters, you go back into the figure eights, but it'll be 30. Work your way through each exercise on 30 reps. Then once you've done your 30 thrusters, back into 20 figure eights, go through all the exercises again, and then you finish on 10. So you start on 10 reps and you finish on 10 reps. When you get to the 30 reps, you'll probably be all right on 20. You might need to break up some of the exercises. Figure eights should be all right. You might need to break up the squats. Swings should be fine on. Push-ups and chest press you might need to break up. And then the thrusters you probably need to break up as well a little bit. So if you know on 10 reps and you're struggling to do 10 reps, you know where you're going to need to stop when you're getting onto the higher reps. Okay. But basically, it's a free rate. Get through it as quickly as you can. I'll keep a little eye, uh, a little eye on the time. Um, but we should get have plenty of time to get through it. If there's any time left at the end, I'll go through something else. But you won't want any time left at the end after doing this, I don't think. Uh, so exercise again, figure eights, goblet squats, two-handed swings, push-ups or chest press, and then thrusters. Okay? Make sense? Perfect. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've got the energy for this. Okay, right. Where's my towel? I'm going to need that. Oh, sorry. Okay, you ready? So it's figure eights first. So hold on to the corner. Doesn't really matter which hand you start with. Make sure you hold on to the um, side of the, the corner of the handle that you're holding on with. So hold on with your right hand, hold on to the right corner. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So round the back. Catch it at the top. I'll be one rep. Two. So if you just make sure you're squatting down, trying not to bend too much at the waist. Once you've done your 10, you've got 10 goblet squats. And once you've done your 10 squats, you've got 10 two-handed swings. So nice and quick, straighten the legs up. Once you've done your 10, you've got 10 push-ups or chest press, whichever one you want to do. Whichever you do on the push-ups or chest press, just try and keep your elbows into your side if you can. Once you've done those, you've got 10 thrusters. So it's the squat up into the press. And then once you've done your 10, whew, that's one round down. So you can go back into the figure eights, but you're on to 20 reps. So again, try and make sure you squat down a little bit rather than hinging. You're going to hinge a little bit, but try and limit it the mark. <sighs> I 
and you're on to 20 squats. Whew. So, again, if you need to break it up, break it up. So, on this set of 20. You could break it up into two sets of 10. And then once you've done those 20 goblet squats, you're onto 20 swings. So get nice and snappy, driving those hips through. Relax the arms and shoulders off. After those 20 swings, 20 push-ups or chest press. Again, whichever one you're doing. Oh, it's warm. Once you're in those 20 push ups or chest press, you've got 20 thrusters. Again, you may need to just break this up. So if you're going to break it up, try and do two sets of 10. So when you get onto these thrusters, lock out the arms at the top. Make sure you bring your head through. And once you're done your 20, you're onto your round of 30, so the hardest round. Oh, my arms are in agony. So when you're ready, that round of 30. So always swap over behind the back of the leg. Oop, and he dropped it. Oh, and once you've done your 30 figure eights, oh, 30 goblet squats. So again, if you know you're gonna struggle on the squats, just turn them into air squats. If you wanna chop and change between your two, you can do.
So get on the squats if you need to break it up. You could do three sets of 10. I'm going to do two lots of 15. You could do 30 lots of one if you really wanted to. Might be that a while though. So again, if you get nice and low in the squats, keep those elbows in. Oh. After you those 30 squats, 30 swings. So get nice and quick, straighten those legs up. And then when you breathe in, inhale on the way down, exhale when the kettlebells up in your chest. And then once you've done 30 swings, You've got your push-ups or your chest press. Oh, the floodgates have now opened. Oh. Again, if you need to, split them up. Oh. And then after those push-ups or chest press, it's going to be the worst one out of all of them. 30 thrusters. So again, you've got your figure eights, squat, swings, push-ups or your chest press, and then your thrusters. Oh God. So again, split it up however you need to. So for this 30, oh, my shoulders are in pieces, so I'm gonna do three lots of 10. But on the thrusters, the quicker you get up out the bottom of the squat, the easier you're gonna find it overhead. Oh, 10 more. Oh. So once you've done those thrusters, that's the hardest round. Oh. So you've reached the top of that pyramid. 
So now we're coming down the other side. So once you've done those sturdy thrusters, you're gonna go back into your figure eights and the squats and the swings and the push-ups and then the thrusters. But you're doing 20 reps. <clears throat> Oh. oh, I can't believe how tired I am. So 20 rep round, fourth round, 20 reps when you get to it. Again, just go at your own pace. Break it up however you need to, if you need to. Oh. Oh, I don't know about the rest of it, it's my shoulders. Again, yeah, break it up however you need to. You're just working at your own pace. Oh. So figure eight, squat, swing, push up, thrusters. Oh, Oh. So when you get to those squats, just make sure you're keeping those feet flat on the floor. So if you need to go a little bit wider with your feet, just go a little bit wider. And then when you get onto the swings, nice and fast, straighten those legs up. And then squeeze your glutes as you drive your hips through. Oh. I do wonder why I keep putting thrusters in. Oh, horrible exercise. Oh. I'd rather do burpees. Oh, 20 thrusters. Oh. So again, break it up if you need to. Ooh. Just work through it as fast as you can. Oh. 
Again, if you've got water, keep on top of that hydration. Oh. So when you've done that round of 20, you're back onto that first round. Oh. And I'm gonna give you five minutes. So we'll stop in exactly five minutes. If you get through before five minutes, cool. If not, we'll just stop at five minutes anyway. Oh. So figure eight, squats, swings, push-ups, thrusters. Round of 10 should feel relatively comfortable. Oh, and ten. Okay, so I'm give you just under two more minutes. Oh. Oh. And then someone needs to write in with an answer of why when you stop, you sweat so much more than what you do when you're actually doing the work. I've never found out the answer to that. So that last round is going to be 10 figure eights, 10 goblet squats, 10 swings, 10 push-ups or chest press, 10 thrusters. You've got one minute. So I'm going to give you one last minute. Forty seconds. Everyone might be finished. Oh. Last 10 seconds. I can't tell, but I'm guessing you're all a little bit rosy. Three, two, one, and let's stop it there. Oh, hopefully everyone made it through. If not, you owe me reps whenever you're finished on. So we'll just have a little stretch out and then we'll uh, be free to enjoy the rest of your Friday. Back to work. Oh, I might start sweating at some point this afternoon. Okay, so if you plank cells on your bum. One second there, yeah. Perhaps I'll just level that down a little bit. Oh. 
Okay, so we've done this one before. So if you pull your, uh, I can't move my arms, the top sticking to me. Uh, grab your heels. So pull your chest onto your thighs, onto your chest or chest onto your thighs. And then from there, keep your chest on your thighs and then just walk your feet away or slide your feet away, whichever's, I don't know what your floor's like. But keep your chest down. So try not to sit upright. So if you can only get to kind of like halfway to having your legs straight, you're better off doing that. So just think about trying to, Get your forearms down before straightening your legs up. So keep that chest on your thighs. And then if you pull your toes back, don't grab onto them. Keep your hands on your heels, but just point your toes towards your head. So you should get a nice stretch all over the calf, up into your hamstrings. And then if you slowly come out of that, if you've got any problems with your knees, bring your foot, you sole of your foot on the inside of your leg. If you don't have any problems, bring your leg around the back. So don't sit on your heel, just put your, the sole of your foot next to your bum. So kind of like you're jumping over a hurdle, and some hurdle stretch. Uh, bend your leg at the knee. Again, shift your ribcage over your thigh. Try and reach your forearms down first, so you're keeping that chest nice and low. Then once you've got your forearms down, oof, that's really tight. Try and straighten that leg up, but keep those forearms down just so it encourages you to keep your chest down. If you just grab your toes and straighten your leg up, you're probably not going to get much of a stretch. You might get more of a stretch in your lower back. So forearms down and then try and straighten up. And again, if you keep pulling your toes back, so if you, you flex your foot. And then slowly come out of that. Bring your right leg round. Oh, pop it out to the side. So you want your legs in a straddle or a pancake. Get them as far apart as you can. Again, turn your toes, so point your toes towards your head. Flash your hands together. Start over one leg and then just bounce up across. One leg to the other. So you get it on your hamstrings again and you should get it on your adductors so the inside of your legs. And then on each little bounce, just try and reach a little bit further if you can. And then if you bring your legs back together. So we're doing the right side. So if you bring your, again, if you've got knee problems, bring the sole of your foot on the inside of your leg. If you don't, bring it around the back. Bend the leg at the knee, shift your ribcage over your thigh, try and get your forearms down again. And then once you've got your forearms down, keep your chest down and then try and straighten that leg up and then keep flexing that foot towards your head. And then slowly come out of that one. Keep your left leg in front. Pop yourself into your lunge position. So kneeling on the floor. Try and make sure you've got a box uh, with your calf and your thighs. So you've got right leg forward. Lift your left foot up. Grab your left foot. Pull your heel into your backside. You should feel it on your quad, on that back leg. If you're not, keep a straight line all the way from the knee, through your hips and up to your shoulders. And then just sink your hips forward. So you're not just leaning forward at the waist. You want to Drop your hips forward. So your knee on your right leg is just going to drift over your toes. So if you're really tight on the quads, you might need like a strap or a towel around you, around your foot, and then just swap your legs over. It's the same thing, create that box. Lift your foot up, grab your foot, pull your heel in nice and tight. If you can't feel anything on your quads, keep that straight line from your knee to your shoulders and then just drop the hips forward. Again, that left knee will come over your left toes, maybe like a squat. And then if you slowly come out of that, so you want both knees underneath your hips, 
Leave your bum stuck up in the air. Big stretch out your arms. And sink your chest down to the floor. So you're going to get a nice stretch on your back in between your shoulder blades. And then from there, if you just bring your hands underneath your shoulders, and then just let your hips sink down. If you look up at the ceiling, or you can look over each shoulder, you might crack your back, but you should feel it stretching on your abs. And then try not to lose your neck, so make sure you roll your shoulders away. So keep pressing away from the floor. And then the last one, if you just bring your toes together, Bring your hips up, plank your knees out as far as you can get them, sit back onto your heels, and, and just stretch those arms out in front. You can rest your head on the floor. You can just try and relax there. Spill onto your lower back. I'm actually quite comfy, I could go to sleep. That's it guys, all done. Another one down.